Hey guys, Enoch Tyrone here from Middle School Pictures. Welcome to another exciting tutorial. And in this tutorial, tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a fireball or light ball, whatever you want to call it. Um, so here's what we'll be making. Oh, hold on a second. As you can see, we're going to be making the ball and the glow on the hand so yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun alright so open up After Effects import your project I already got it here drag it to a new composition there we go now and here's what we got there we go yeah you got the little your hand there and yeah just record your hand in front of the camera and take, close your hand and then take it out of the frame and there we go now first you want to make a new layer and the fireball so layer new solid and uh, make it white make it comp size and oh click ok and go to the ellipse tool and make it like say, that big all right and then go to the place where you want to start that layer all right so um command right and left keys to go forward frame and go back a frame and forward frame Command right key and left key. Alright, so there we go. I'm gonna start it right here. So click on your white solid layer. Alt begin bracket. And there we go. Now for the first frame, type T. Um click on that stopwatch. And for the first frame, we're gonna put the opacity down to zero. Alright, next frame. We want to put it, let's see, 30. Next frame, we want to put it 50. Next frame, we'll put it 80. Next frame, oops, next frame, sorry, uh, we'll put it 100. And there we go. So you, turns on as you open your hand so it won't automatically be on that would just look weird and there we go all right now let's go to the place where you want to stop it so let's go back a few frames and I'm gonna stop it right here um all in bracket and so it's gonna stop right there so on the last frame you put the opacity down zero and go to frame before that put it to what was it 30 yeah 30 frame before that put it to 50 frame before that put it to 80 in the frame before that, put it a hundred. All right. So now the ball turns on and it turns off. There looks better. All right. Now let's add the, some effects to our little fireball or white solid gear. Um, type enter and. Let's see, type on um, fire ball. You can put light ball because it's not exactly fire unless you want it orange color. And now go make sure this is clicked. Go to effect. Oops. Effect. Noise and grain. Fractal noise. Invert it. And I like this swirly. 
I mean, not squirrely. Sorry, I was thinking something else. I put it, leave it on basic. Well, it, we can experiment with these as we go on. All right. Um, this is good. Put this on clip, and type. Click on the evolution, and go to the beginning of this layer. Um, here, let's do it again, and then go to the last frame and put it to uh, let's see nine and you'll see what happens see it's like moving so here let me just put it half so it can go faster yeah you can see it move and yeah, it's supposed to basically move. That's what the evolution does. And yeah, that's that's pretty good. I like it at nine. So here, let me show you at full speed. Yeah, see the the higher you put this at, the faster it'll move. The lower you put it at, the slower it'll move. All right. So what else? Um, click on your layer. Go to the effect. Go to blur and sharpen. Radial blur, radial blur. Sorry, and then on this little, on the same line as center. Click on that. Go into the center, and about there. There we go. And put this up. And from spin, put it to zoom. So there. Here it's cool. And there we go. We got that weird. Thing. Let's put it to like a hundred. Here, let's put it one hundred twenty. Yeah, that looks better. Actually, one hundred twenty-five. Just in case. Yeah, I like that. All right. Next, um, you click on your layer. Go to effect. Go to uh, color correction, hue and saturation. Color colorize and now you want to raise this to whatever color you want mine was green um, I want to make it a different color though let's see reddish here reddish is down it, there's got purple like that I like I like that actually let me Put up the saturation a bit. Yeah, I like that. Okay, color lightness. I'll put it at one. Just to give it more bright. And brightness. Let's put it up. Let's see. Yeah. Put it at five. And contrast. Put it up a little bit. All right. So now you can see that it's pretty cool. Yeah. It moves and everything. Now you can change this to smeary. Let me show you how that looks. Looks actually pretty cool. But it's more like for a portal something like that dynamic twist oh, let's try this hey this actually looks pretty cool but again it's more like portal ish but I guess it looks cool I mean gives it more life but I think I'm just gonna leave it up basic for now you can do it whatever you want it's your option all right put the and um, whatever that is um, put the qu best quality put it at low to high and shaliazing something like that too lazy to figure out what it says alright there you got the ball but you're probably thinking it's not in my hand I mean it's not in the hand I'll just put this at third so it's not working because it's not at your hand. Well, we can, we're going to fix that. Go to layer, new, 
null object. Now, we don't, we don't have to keyframe every single movement now. We can just add the new null object. We're going to start it at the same place. Alt, begin bracket. And we're going to end it at the same place. Alt, end bracket. Alright, there we go. Now, go to window. Make sure your tracker has a check. It's checked on. All right, it should be up here, down here. Go to your clip, whatever it's called. Click on your clip. Track motion. Now you have a track point right here. And uh, let's put it like this size. I'm going to drag it. Let's make this a bit smaller. Drag it. Oops. I'm gonna drag this like right here or right here. In the world. Sorry, guys. Don't know what's going on. All right. I think we got it. All right. So you can just play that through. Here, let's go to the beginning. Um, click on this little right arrow, analyze forward, and as you can see, it stays there. But I think it's too much here. Let's reset and let's make it like that. I think it's too big. All right, there. Now. You can, there we go. Alright, let's analyze forward. That looks good. Alright, now go to the beginning and analyze forward. Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna. S Wait, never mind, this is going faster than I thought. Um, there. I like that place. And it's good, going pretty smooth. And here it's almost done. And bam, close your hand, get it out of the way. And this track point just stays there. Alright, so now that the track point has pre rendered through, go to edit target, make sure it's on null one. And go to apply, make sure it's X and Y. There we go brings all these keyframes and stuff like that. Alright. Type M M so or just just M, sorry. To close that all. And pick whip the fireball to the null one. This is taking a long time. Yeah, this just takes up a lot of memory. Because we got a lot of effects here. And tracker especially. Alright. Uh oh. Hold on a second. Put it back on third. Um, so there. Now your fireball, wherever it is, put it where you want it to. I'm gonna put mine right there, about right there. And now start it. looks pretty good. It's moving fluently and it's moving with your null. There, here, let's watch it. Yeah. Alright, good. Now, let me move this up oh, a bit right here. Alright, now we need to add is the glow on your hand. So go to layer, new, solid, and make sure it's the same exact color that is right here or brighter right here I guess make comp size put it at the bottom alright now you want to mask this
and now drag it um, above your clip and there we go it looks weird and messed up but we're gonna fix it by type F and we're gonna feather it feather it right, that's good it still looks weird so um, type T and bring the opacity down say about 70 and alright bring it up to like 75 and there we go it looks cool now pick whip it to the no one now we'll move also now we don't want that it start we want it's you see it starts there so we want to make it start um let's see right there on your layer oh you can bracket so all right let's play through and it's pretty cool all right let's go to the place where you want to what happened there and that's too low so alright I think I'm just gonna make this smaller alright let's go to the place where you want to stop it and let's see about here alt and bracket alright so when you close your hand there we go you can make your glow however big you want but see I moved my hand too much and that's why the glow is like moving way too much you can keyframe it um, but it takes more time so type P for position and put this to none. Um, let's go to the beginning, pick whip, and go to the next frame, move it, next frame, so on and so forth. Yeah, that's one way to do it. Here. But I'll just put a no one, whatever. You can do it whatever, whichever way you want. But for the sake of this tutorial, I just put it on the one. So we won't have to waste time. But anyway, yeah, that's basically it um, for the fireball tutorial. And there, you got a basic fireball. Even though he, right here it's green. But yeah, that's how you do a far, fireball. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, Please subscribe, comment, like, and... Thanks for watching this tutorial. Bye.